what's up? We are back with another episode of Baking with Bella. So, I've been craving lemon bars for the longest time. So that is what we will be making today. Let's get started. We are starting with the crust. It says here we need an eight by eight baking dish. I grabbed this one, but I didn't actually measure it. It's a little big, but we're gonna have to make it work because that was the smallest one I could find. Preheat the oven to 350. Easy. Grease an eight by inch baking dish in line with overlapping rectangles of parchment paper. What does that mean? Overlapping rectangles of parchment paper. I guess I don't understand <laughs> why you would grease it and then put parchment paper. I don't really get it. Why would we, why would we do that? Okay, well, we're not using parchment paper. Beat together the butter, okay. I don't know if that's the cleanest, but whatever. Beat together softened butter. So we'll just melt it. Is that what it means by soft? I'm gonna be very disappointed if these don't come out good because I've been craving this for so Like, just the longest time I've been wanting some lemon bars. And if these are bad, I might cry. Just kidding, that's a little dramatic. Lemon zest. How much of this zest do we need? One tablespoon. That's a lot. All right, let's zest this lemon. Is this what you use? Are you supposed to wash the lemon? Probably. Okay, let's zest this lemon. This is gonna take a long time. If I'm supposed to get two tablespoons of this. Um, I don't think this is right. Is this how you zest? Let's look it up. How to zest a lemon. Five easy ways, perfect. Oh, I was supposed to wash it a lot more. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so it seems like this is the right way. It just takes a long time to do that, apparently. <sighs> Who knew it took literally forever to zest a lemon? Look at how naked this lemon is. I mean, I've zested pretty much as much as I can get out of it. And unfortunately, it's a little short of a tablespoon, but I'm just gonna have to accept it. So, let's start with the one half cup. Better. Oh. You know what, it's probably fine. Oh no. See, this is just why I don't bake. I just can't do it. I'm, I have literally exploded the butter. Uh, okay, well, now I have to clean that up. <laughs> it's fine, it's totally fine. Uh, let me just, uh, let me just pick that up real quick. <laughs> Dang it! Well, now I'm not sure if I have half a cup. I'm not sure how much exploded. Whoopsies! All right, anyways. Okay, why does it look like someone put flour in the sugar? Why is there flour in the sugar? That'll literally kill me. All right, it's fine. <laughs> so fine. I don't know if this is a tablespoon, but we're just calling it good. Okay, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, seems like a lot, but I'm not here to judge. And I think that's all they wanted me to do right now, correct? Until light and fluffy. I'm not exactly sure how this can become light and fluffy. Okay, so I'm just a tad confused on how I'm supposed to mix this stuff. Like, I'm not sure how this is supposed to become light and fluffy, but here we go. I just don't feel like this is very light and fluffy because how how can it be fluffy once it get room temperature? So it wasn't supposed to melt the butter. Add the flour and the salt and mix until uniform. Okay, fine. I'm gonna take this off. One, I'm getting hot because I'm getting nervous. Two, I don't wanna get, I don't wanna spray myself with everything. Roughly. Now we just mix this all together, apparently. Okay, so <laughs> I have a feeling that the dough is gonna be a little crumbly cause let me just, let me just, mm, let me just show you how it looks right now. So it's supposed to be 
Uniform. That does not look uniform to me. Maybe I'll have to munch it together. I'm not exactly sure. So now I just press this into an even layer on the bottom of this pan, I guess. Now, will it be crumbly? I think it might be extremely crumbly, but you, as long as it's edible, right? That's really all that matters. Use a fork to poke holes in the crust all over. Okay. minutes. All right. All right, we'll just make the filling while it's cooking because things seem to take me a little longer than the average person. Eggs, sugar, lemon juice, and lemon zest. Wow, okay. Ask him for a lot there, but whatever. This is three eggs at room temperature, but I really don't think it matters if they're room temperature or not. Oh man. All right, I got a couple crumbs, or what are they called, eggshells in here, so let me just pick those out. You're probably watching this and you're like, Shh, I don't wanna eat anything this girl eats. Like, one cup of sugar. Wow, that's, that's quite a bit. All right, you know, your wish is my command. That's a ton of sugar. Oh well. All right, that's just gonna have to do it. Might not be super lemony lemon bars, but whatever. Another tablespoon of lemon zest. This is like my kryptonite, you guys. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not the baker really, and I just have never really been good at it. I try to make things and my family's like, you know, that tastes disgusting. And I'm like, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're completely right. That was the grossest thing. And like, we've thrown away things because they taste so bad. I'm a little scared this is gonna turn out to be disgusting, but you never know if you don't try, right? Bring, oh my goodness. Okay, once again, we have shredded this lemon, taken away its dignity, and we're just gonna eat the skin. It feels a little inhumane to me, but it's what we're doing, so. So we're not gonna have exactly half a cup of this juice. It's just simply not gonna happen. Like, we are one and a half lemon in, and we've got a fourth. I'm nervous, I'm nervous this is not gonna be very lemony. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to have half a cup, and half a cup is gonna be there, and we're at a third of a cup. Yeah, half a cup here, a third of a cup. We're a little short, so these might not be as lemony as we'd like, but maybe, I don't know. You do with what we have, you know? Is this a beater? I think it is. I'm not really sure what the difference of beating versus electric mixer is, but question for another day, you know? Okay, for the last part. Bake for another 20, 30 minutes. Oh gosh. Um, okay, one sec. Let me set my timer and then check the door. There she is. Baking away. Guess we'll just give it time now. Only time will sell. I will be back when it's ready. And then we can do the final touches and then we can do a try. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Technically, they're not ready according to the internet, but they've been in here for far too long. Here's what it looks like. There's where I stabbed it multiple times to try to figure out if it was ready yet. I think I might have burnt it because if you can see the edges, I kind of, they're a little a little uh, a little brown, but you know, that's all right. I'm not a pro here, as we all know, you know, this Bella's not the best baker, it's totally fine. So, so yeah, I guess I just wait for them to cool and then I take it out of here and put it on a, a wire rack. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, so now it's time to take it out and put it on this thing and make it all good. That's hot. Yeah, that's a little hot. <laughs> oh, whoa. Ooh, see that crust? Oh gosh. We had predicted this. Remember I said it's gonna be a little, little uh, break a party. Dust with powdered sugar and slice into two inch bars. I don't know what it means by dust. So I'm just gonna dust it with my hands because I'm not really sure what dust even means. Like, do you think that's too much dust? Like, what do we what do we think here? Okay, this is what it looks like from the side. I think it looks really good. Now for the taste test. Oh, it's hot. It's good. 
Just should have let it cool a little longer. This is actually quite good. And it like feeds the craving that I've been having. I think that's pretty, I think that's a good thing, right? Let's sip. Okay, hmm. overall, I would say they are good. Maybe slightly overbaked or underbaked, I really don't know. I would bake it again. And I feel like this is where, this is where we part ways. So it was great hanging out with you today, baking these little lemon bars. I'll see you soon. Please subscribe.